So welcome everyone to this webinar session. So myself Suman, so I'm a structural engineer at uh, Navi Mumbai in India. So I'm giving a webinar live from India office. So these are the contents of the presentation. First, I'll give an overview of Midas as a software company and Midas Civil as a primary tool for bridge analysis and design software. About Midas, so uh, our company, we have a fantastic team of 640 engineers working all around the globe. Midas is established since 1989 and we have a worldwide existence. We have nine branch offices including USA, UK, Middle East. So I'm from India office, Russia, China and Korea. So almost 80,000 number of plus licenses have been sold worldwide. So we have partners and distributors all throughout the globe. So Mida software is composed of four distinct uh, areas where uh, first is building, second civil, geotechnical and mechanical. In these domains we provide software solutions. So we are the world leading company in engineering design software. Almost more than 50% of the top 100 design firms of, uh, of the world are using Mira software day in and day out. So this is a partial list that I'm showing you. You can name any company of the top 100 companies design firms uh, like Arupa, Ecom, Parsons or which have a branch offices in Saudi Arabia as well. So these companies are using our software. and a uh, sm small list of educational users internationally. So these universities are using for research purpose as well as doing a consultancy projects. Yeah, this is the main slide that I want to uh, emphasize on. So we are the largest CAE software developer in civil engineering. So we provide softwares in these four sectors as I mentioned before. First is bridge. So in bridge infrastructure segment, we have two softwares. First is Midas Civil, which is an integrated solution system for bridge and civil structures. And next we have Midas FEA. This is another program, which is for advanced nonlinear and detailed analysis system. So if you have a cable step bridge, if you have anchorage, or if you have a PSC uh, bridge, but you do the primary longitudinal or transverse analysis in Midas Civil. And if you want to do a detailed stress analysis, a transverse pre-stressing, uh, a stress analysis, 3D uh, element modeling, those things can be done in Midas FEA. So coming to building uh, segment, we, our flagship software is Midas Gen. So this was used in uh, uh, Burj Khalifa design, column shortening effect and a lot of advanced applications it was used. So it is mostly customized for building and general structures. Coming to Midas Design Plus, it's an add-on tool. It's a design tool add-on for Midas Gen. We provide software solutions in geotechnical segment. Our flagship software is GTS NX, which is a 3D geotechnical system. Coming to SoilWorks is another program, which is for the 2D applications. So it's, it consists of analytical models as well as FEM models. So this is mostly for the 2D applications and GTS NX is a, is a uh, complete 3D geotechnical program. We also have mechanical softwares like Midas uh, NFX. It's more or less same as ANSYS or Abacus and Midas FX Plus. So this is only a pre and post processor for finite element analysis such that you can create complex meshes. So overall we have uh, softwares in these segments. But in this presentation I'll be focusing on this software which is our flagship software for bridge applications which is Midas Civil. So it's an integrated solution system for bridge and civil structures. So first a motivation of Midas Civil like we have it has been uh, used in many signature projects. It has a very good reliability all around the globe. Uh, you can see Rasky Island Bridge it's the tallest uh, cable stay bridge and Sutong Bridge is the uh, second longest cable stay bridge. So in this uh, uh, bridges Midas Civil was primarily used as an analysis tool. And uh, it was used in this type of bridges like Newware Bridge where it's uh, architecturally dominant bridges. 
and Incheon Bridge in Korea. So these are few signature projects that I'm showing you. Nevertheless, it can be used in uh, many projects. It has been used in India and around the globe. Uh, these are some real models that have been taken from the client, like uh, Lenti, Acom, and Louis Bojo. So these are box cutter uh, bridges, balance cantilever bridges, and different type of bridges like arch bridges, voided slab, twin cell box, or a uh, arch bridge. Right, uh, and the list goes on as applications. I just wanted to limit it. Uh, coming to the big question, like people ask what kind of bridge type can Mida Civil handle? So I would say like uh, these three segment of types of bridges can be easily handled. One is conventional bridges. Uh, not only Mida Civil is for the advanced applications, even it can be used for conventional regular bridges easily. So what we have done is we have developed specific wizards for different type of bridges. Something like culvert, frame bridge, or a slab bridge, or an integral bridge, or a steel composite, or a box cutter bridge. So we have different wizards. So I'll be showing you in the coming slides how you can quickly use these wizards. Wizard is nothing but a template that you can, just by seeing the drawing, you input the information, and the mo model would be generated by the program. You don't need to generate the model from the scratch. Coming to stage segmental bridge, these bridges call for a construction stage analysis because the bridge is built in stages, so you need to make sure that each and every stage is safe and serviceable. So this construction sequence needs to be simulated in the program. So this can be easily done manually by generating the construction stages, or we have different specific wizards for different bridges. Like balance cantilever bridge, we have a specific wizard for this, incremental launching method bridge, we have a wizard for this, a, a regular precast segmental bridge. We have a wizard for this. So a stage segmental bridge can be easily handled. Coming to high uh, long span bridges like cable strip bridge or suspension bridge, where a detailed analysis is required, a nonlinear analysis is required, all those functionalities and capabilities are there in civil. So let me get into MIDA Civil. I'll divide this presentation into three parts. First is modeling, second analysis, and then design. First, let's see the modeling capabilities of the software. First, section database. So we have a huge list of section database. You don't need to create the sections from AutoCAD. You have most of the general sections which are inbuilt. You can select them and give your dimensions and then form the section. So you have section type and then you can click on show calculation results. So input the values, the dimensions and the section properties would be generated. You can cross check for the tapered sections. Coming to composite sections, we have deck part concrete and girder as steel, where you have two parts, there is a composite action coming into picture. Those things can be taken care. So we have part one as girder, uh, this can be steel or concrete, and deck can be concrete. So you can simulate the construction schedule, you can consider the non-composite and composite stages, or cross frames in 3D. Yeah, if you don't have a section, or if it is an irregular section that you have, then this type of sections can be drawn in AutoCAD, and then you can import it to SPC, so Section Property Calculator is an additional tool that is provided in Civil. From there, you can directly import from AutoCAD and then use it in Civil for the analysis and design. So a small video that has been shown here. So I go to Section Property. So I can import from AutoCAD. So then you form the section here and then you go to the software and select a general section and you can import a section. Yeah. 
then you can use it in the analysis. Similarly, you can form composite sections. Yeah, let's come to the next uh, part uh, where uh, it's a modeling part where you can use wizards. Rather than going for a manual modeling, which is a time consuming and a tedious task for designers right now. So we have developed these wizards for different type of bridges. So for base structure, we have truss, frame, arch, and column, shell, this type of basic wizards for basic structures. We have RC frame box culvert wizard. And then as I shown you, different construction sequences needs to be taken. And these different wizards are available for different construction methodologies. And high span, long span bridges, you have these wizards. And also for rail track analysis, we had dedicated wizard which will generate a series of model for rail structure interaction. Just a small glimpse of uh, truss model wizard. If you have a simple truss bridge, you can go and select the truss wizard and then you have the standard uh, types. You can select which one you want and then you can give the dimensions, the length of the truss bridge and then the height. Then edit the vertical and end verticals and then click OK. One plane of truss bridge has been formed within no time. Then you can do manual operations. So this wizard gives you a flexibility to edit after the generation of the model. So right now I'm trying to edit the diagonals and uh, trying to divide the elements. Trying to copy the left diagonals to the right side. So right side have been created. Similarly, the left right ones I'll copy to the left. Try to extrude from node to line elements. So I've selected the nodes. I've activated all. This is one plane of a, a fairly complex truss. And then I try to give a carriageway width of three meters and trying to copy this plane to the other side. Yeah, two plane of truss has been created. Now I'll create the cross beams, trying to extrude from the node. Done. So uh, this type of trust model, you can appreciate how quickly we have generated the entire model through these wizards. Similarly, we have uh, box culvert wizards. So this wizard, you can give longitudinal information of the box culvert, box or a pie frame or a normal type frame. So you can generate a 2D model or a 3D model. First you give the longitudinal in, uh, configuration, then the transverse configuration, and then the load definition. Once you click OK, this type of model can be easily generated. Let's see a short video of it. So I'll go to structure tab and click on this wizard. So I'll select a box culvert and I'll give the longitudinal information then I'll go to the transfers information right now I'm taking some random default values then I'll go to loads select the load combination and these are all the densities underground water lay, uh, water table level and then click OK a 2D model has been generated so you see all the loads have been applied by the program and all the boundary conditions have been generated. So it's a 2D simple box. I'll undo it. I'll go to the wizard again. Just change it to 3D. All the uh, rest of the dimensions remaining the same. I'll click OK. Now the model converts to 3D where all the elements are plate elements with the wing walls. Now the loads have been changed from line loads to pressure loads because you are using plate elements. Then if I want a multi-span 
box culvert i can enter 12 15 and 12 so this is a three cell box now if i want to add a skew angle even i can do that so direct sq angle input is given 20 degree skew i can click okay even i can give a skew as well as curvature both simultaneously so those inputs are also there in the wizard so a fairly complex box culvert which takes a lot of time in manual modeling can be easily quickly generated from this wizards yeah we also have psc composite girder bridge wizard and steel composite girder bridge wizards so this usage of this wizards we'll be seeing in the next webinar sessions and these are also very useful wizards where within no time you can generate this type of models where it can be a curved steel composite or a skew steel composite bridge fcm bridge if you have a balanced cantilever bridge we have a wizard that you can use it even the construction stages would be generated i'll be showing you a video just a moment Suppose you have a plan and elevation of a balanced cantilever bridge. So FCM bridge. So you give the longitudinal uh, information, whether the method is cast in situ or a precast. You give the number of segments on the left and the right side in the FCM zone and the balanced cantilever zone. Then you give the sectional information and some default values I'm picking up now just for the demonstration whether it can be a two cell or a one cell or if you have a your own section of box you can directly import from AutoCAD you can use that in this wizard and going to the tendon definition it is automated uh, you have this uh, bitmap image seeing that you can enter this or you can use type 2 and I have given a curved FCM bridge. So this generates a model including the pre-stressing as well as the construction stages. This is construction stage 1. This is how a balance cantilever first stage would look like. So as the crane and form traveler moves on, so you construct in a balance cantilever fashion. So this all these stages can be simulated. So like that we have 16 stages that I've given in the wizard input that's why we have 16 stages and pre-stressing is done accordingly. Next is where we have cable stay wizard and suspension bridge wizard so this will create the models. So this video is for uh, generating uh, finding out the optimal cable force using uh, unknown load factor method for cable strip bridge because these cables will have different forces and uh, different construction stages have different uh, uh, jacking forces those can be easily calculated from this ULF feature so this is available this is the advanced feature like we can see this in the next coming sessions and a grillage model wizard uh, this is customized for Caltrans you have boundary conditions so if you have a grillage model or a voided deck slab uh, bridge you can use this wizard in this fashion so you can go select the wizard suppose I have a voided deck go to structure tab grillage model I can give the layout information and the sectional information go to the span and you have the span information support locations in the deck and the program automatically divides this into segments like girder 1 girder 2 till girder 10 to form a grillage model then you give the transfers information about the crash barrier widths and the bent cap locations then you give the loads standard loads and the densities and 
check check on the moving load you can also define the lanes as per ash to lrft directly from the wizard and then if it is a pre-stressed voided deck slab you can give the pre-stressing information or how the tendons are uh, laid out in the longitudinal yeah right now i'm giving a tendon area So this all these tendons are automatically generated. Click OK and the model is generated. So it's an integral uh, voided deck slab. It's a pre-stress voided deck slab. All right, let's get into the next part, uh, which is the analysis capabilities of MIDA civil software. Right now, uh, I've shown you the modeling aspects of the software. There are many wizards as well as manual options which are available for the user to use as per his convenience. Coming to analysis capabilities, we have construction stage analysis, a full-fledged detailed linear as well as non-linear construction stay analysis can be performed. A moving load analysis as per ASTRO LRFD or Eurocode, all the vehicles and definitions are automated. You can use it for doing moving load analysis. Model analysis like eigenvalue and rich vector analysis are available. Dynamic analysis, you can perform static seismic analysis or a response spectrum analysis or a time history analysis. A full-fledged nonlinear inelastic time history analysis can be performed, which can be, and also a boundary nonlinear analysis, like if you have a dampers or if you have a isolators, lead-bearing isolators on your bridge, you can do that. Buckling analysis can be performed, large displacement, P delta, thermal stress analysis, like the temperature effects you can simulate. Integral bridge analysis, soil structure interaction can be performed. This we'll be seeing in the last session uh, on the webinar series. It's a fourth session. We can see uh, in detail the integral bridge uh, usage. Heat, heat of hydration analysis is also available. So overall, these are the analysis capabilities of MIDA civil software. Most of the analysis that are required for bridges are all there in MIDA civil software. Uh, you can do a settlement analysis. So you can go to settlement, settlement group you can define. Suppose this peer is settling for 10 mm and you can define many groups and the program will perform the settlement analysis. So if this peer settles up, what would be the effect in the bridge? A detailed construction stay analysis can be performed. This type of balance cantilever models uh, can be built. Suppose a steel composite curved bridge so we have after composite and before composite. So a steel composite girder bridge, first stage, second stage the girders are erected and the bracings are activated. And in the third stage you have slab which is cast and the cross beams are activated. And in the fourth stage, full decking is done and the bridge is ready. Similarly, a balanced cantilever base stage. So wet concrete loads per stage. As the construction proceeds, we create different construction sequences till the bridge is constructed. The same thing which is there in reality, which is happening in reality, the, everything will simulate in the program. Similarly, suspension 
bridge construction stage analysis cable stay bridge final deformation all these things can be simulated in the program pre-stress analysis if you are dealing with a pre-stressed concrete bridge you will be getting this tendon loss table where uh, all the stress uh, pre-stress loss calculations and the stress calculation force loss all those things would be given in this table format and also in the graph these are all excel friendly you can copy paste in the excel or edit in the excel and paste it back but these are the results so uh, PSC bridge tendon stress limit checks this type of uh, tables can be generated then coming to moving load analysis we can do moving load analysis as per as to or euro or many codes and then we also have this feature called moving load tracer so you can in fact locate the vehicle position which is causing the max and min effect at a particular location so we can set the live load analysis control we can get the normal and concurrent forces for the substructure design then you have nonlinear analysis you can do a full fledged pushover analysis where you can see the damage the progressive damage of a PO and then you can arrive at a performance point soil structure interaction nonlinear spring suppose for abutment and foundation and also you can generate for piles so this automatic soil spring generated for soil structure interaction next coming to dynamic analysis capabilities uh, as I've told you response spectrum analysis you can do a pusher analysis as per FEMA euro code and multilinear type of hinges can be used boundary nonlinear time history analysis where dampers isolators hooks can be simulated and a full-fledged most complex inelastic time history analysis can also be performed so this completes the analysis capabilities so modeling is done analysis is done now uh, MIDA civil is not only an analysis tool it's also a design tool so a complete from modeling to the design can be done in one software so design once you are done with the analysis results you have validated you have verified then you can proceed to the design uh, features where you have this complete PSC design uh, uh, PSC section design as well as PSC composite section design so you can select the design code and give the parameters where the program performs this uh, checks like stress at construction stages service load combination stress checks flexural strength ultimate limit state check st shear strength checks combined shear torsion checks once the design is performed then the program will give you the results in table format in graph format as well as in the automated excel report format so this is very useful for the clients like they can directly submit this in their project reports so positive flexure it will give you the resistance negative flexure it will check so it will provide you this excel sheet for shear design for torsion and then it, you have service limit state checks so that is for PSC we also have steel composite section design as per ASHTO and Euro codes so you can select the code and then give you the parameters then the program will generate a detailed design report so all these checks are performed by the program and it will also mention the relevant clause if you are uh, if you want to cross check you can also cross check with the code with the relevant clause numbers are also provided in the excel sheet constructability checks so we have simulated the construction stages and uh, the construction uh, uh, sequence and everything is simulated and after that in the design each stage would be checked as per the code and stiffener shear connector checks if you are dealing with a steel composite bridge so all these excel sheets are uh, 
uh, design sheets are excel compatible and it will generate a PSC design yeah so we have seen PSC design steel composite designs and then we can do a reinforced concrete design for the PO column or the PO or the piles so a PM interaction curve exact PM biaxial interaction curve can be utilized for the column design and if you have a general section in this fashion you can use a general section designer which is a additional tool which can be used so suppose you have a three span box so if you have a fairly general section then you can use this tool called general section designer then you can link to the software then you can import from the software all the analysis results would be imported here so you can select the load combinations yeah this is similar to the SAM section or ADSEC OASIS ADSEC so it's add-on tool which comes with the civil yeah you can select the code and then give the reinforcement pattern and then run the design and the interaction curve can be generated a full-fledged uh, 3D interaction curve can be generated and you can check the elastic, cracked elastic or ultimate limit state stresses all right finally a uh, lot of engineers face uh, in making uh, a report gen report generation uh, it's a tedious task it takes a lot of time but we have simplified with a feature called dynamic report generator where throughout the modeling process even in the analysis and in the results tab you can extract all these results from the model itself so you can register the data and then you can generate a report and then you can if you modify the model automatically the word file would be regenerated to demonstrate this there's a short video I have uh, analyzed and designed this bridge now I'll go to tools and click on dynamic report generator so a word file would be opened in the software itself then I can register the data by right clicking and click on dynamic report image so this image would be registered and I can use this image in the word file similarly I can register the data like the self fade bending moment diagram and dynamic report table so force results I'm trying to extract it then I'll go to report editor go to report tab in the software just drag and drop So the figures would be coming up on the word file. Yeah. So the results which I have uh, saved it as in the table format would be appearing here. If I drag and drop, all the results would be generated in this word file. Even the sectional information that you have used for the analysis, everything is detailed here. You can just, suppose you have a peer, you can drag and drop here. So the section and the sectional properties are given here. So in this way, you can form the a project report very quickly in the software itself. So this saves tremendous amount of time. let me jump into the program once just to show you uh, so this is the user interface of the software so we have tree menu so every information of this bridge modeling is given here so you can quickly see what you have uh, uh, inputted and here moving load analysis the static loads boundary conditions and the properties are given and all these tabs 
are same as uh, the excel where it's all user friendly and it goes in a flow coming to the structure tab you have this wizards so it's a frame box culvert wizard which i've shown a video similarly you have this fcm balance cantilever bridge wizard so you have model window section window tendon and then you click ok the model would be generated so this is regarding the structure tab if you wish to perform uh, uh, the analysis uh, through the wizard like modeling through the wizard then you can use this tab if not if you want to do a manual modeling you can use this cad based features like create nodes merge nodes create elements merging extruding the elements all these manual operation features are all anyways there then you give to the go to the properties provide the material and section properties and then the support conditions or springs or elastic links then you define the loads different type of loads like static load dynamic load or moving load analysis or a temperature or a construction stage analysis all those definitions you provide in this tab then you select uh, the analysis controls then you perform analysis then you can extract the results forces bending moment shear forces once you have validated your results then you can go to the psc and then you can select the code for the psc design and then perform design and excel report so this completes the entire modeling till the design part of any psc bridge or a steel composite bridge in the design tab you have rc design steel composite design so various codes are available so you can use them and we can also perform rating as per as to lrfr and then query and tools tab so this is a steel composite bridge and you have different stages substructure and then you have girders with the bracings then you have composite action deck coming into picture so once you are done with the analysis then you can generate a excel report so for the demonstration i have generated a excel report as per astro lrfd so astro lrfd 2012 code so all this sectional properties elastic properties as well as the uh, uh, the long term and short term properties next it will perform the flexural resistance check you can see the astro lrfd code clause the relevant code clause so it will perform whether it's okay or not okay all the checks flexural shear check constructability checks stress checks shear check fatigue shear connectors and longitudinal stiffness checks so this completes the uh, the demonstration of the software yeah apart from the software we uh, provide a technical support for all midas programs so we regularly uh, update our program so we customize for each market we develop new codes new features which are coming up or uh, implementing with respect to new standards we give online and offline trainings and provide an online technical support uh, 24 by 7 so this is the website support portal so you can register a ticket and ask the questions we'll reply you by by 24 hours within 24 hours so coming to the upcoming webinars uh, stay tuned so this is the first session that we have finished now uh, we have a second session on th thursday 1st august and third session on skewed pre stressed girder bridge design in fourth session here we'll be seeing the soil structure interaction and the 3d substructure design so stay tuned so if you have any questions you can ask me now you can type in in the questions box and if you if you want any details regarding the purchase of the software or use of uh, a trial license request of a trial license you can email to this email id pankajadremidasit.com